So, can you run 1440p, 4K, or even 8K on your 1080p monitor? And the quick answer to that is a big yes. I'm using an AMD graphics card, that's why you can see AMD only on the title. Anyway, let me hop onto my desktop and show you how it's done. All right, so we are on the desktop right now. And if I right click on my desktop, you're going to see the blue icon here, AMD Software Pro Edition. That just depends on which driver you installed from AMD, but it does not matter. It's the same way you're going to do it anyway. So let me go ahead and open up the AMD Software Pro Edition right here. And you're going to be popping up with this window. Now, what I want you to do is go into Create, go into Display. And then right down here, this part, you're gonna be seeing this thing called the Radiant Pro Image Boost. Now, if you do have the usual drivers, the red one, the, you know, the adrenaline gaming drivers, it's gonna be called Virtual Super Resolution. For Pro drivers, it's called the Radiant Pro Image Boost, and just enable that. Easy as one, two, three. Now, you can see my desktop right here. I'm gonna go right click, go into Display Settings, and then from here, you can see my window. This is a 1080p monitor. It's the Asus VP249 QGR. I'm going to scroll down on the display resolution. Let's go ahead and press it. And every resolution is now exposed on your display. See, I have basically everything from the 800 by 600 all the way up to 8K. So all that's left is actually the press one. I'll just do 1440p because you know I'll I'll show you the 4K too. But here, this is the 1440p. There is the quick black screen, and then boom! I just have to re-add the display capture in OBS because it's still showing the 1080p cropped one. But there you go. This is on 1440p. You can clearly see things are way smaller. But let me also show you the 4K, which is 3840 by 2160 key changes how 4k looks like on a 1080p monitor if you guys want to see how it actually looks like i'll take a quick photo right here and you can probably see it on your screen right now it's just a little bit warped but you would get the idea of how tiny things are and um, yeah it is that easy now let's talk about the pros and cons for the pros well you get the higher resolution which means if you are like me someone that tests games and do performance benchmarks, I can do both 1080p, 2K, and 4K for my audience without me having to buy a new monitor, which basically allows me to save money. And also, if you're an editor like me, you can go ahead and have multiple different windows, but that's basically where it ends. The cons. Of course, everything is going to be less sharp and there are just like little things such as, you know, having to have a much powerful GPU still, even though it's still on your 1080p monitor. It is 4K being downscaled to 1080p or whatever higher resolution you select. And even the texts are sometimes blurry. That's why I personally just do 2K instead of 4K because at least on 2K, everything is still readable, just a little less sharp than 1080p. But it still allows me to, of course, have kind of like the bigger desktop workspace because it's still a much bigger room on your desktop. But yeah, I've told you my use case already because I do benchmarks and don't want to buy a new monitor. But that's one of the things. And of course, if you edit. So those are just kind of like pros and cons use case. But yeah, if this video did help you, then leave a like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Check out the description because every single socials that I have for both this YouTube channel, the one that tech, and my personal channel, Alan Avila, is there. Even my dump account. So if you do want to go and check out my personal gaming and tech stuff, all links on the description down below. And if you do want to know my whole PC specs and about the games that I play and my ranks on those games, also everything on the description down below. Anyway, thanks so much guys for watching. Now I'll see you guys next video. Have a nice day.